Hey everyone, it's Primera here. Today we're going to be talking about Shadow of the Ninja Reborn, which is a remake of the original Shadow of the Ninja game from the NES. Uh, developer is Tangled Project and Nasume Atari. I remember Nasume from the early 90s. I love playing so many of their games. Uh, publishers in in games. Uh, this game has been released back in August of 29 of 2024, so just short of a month ago. The price point of this is $19.99 and is available on PS4, P uh, PS5, the Xbox, the PC, and the Switch games. Uh, this is review is going to be on the PS5 version specifically. All right, so let's get into it. You play as a uh, Hayate Hi 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 or a Kanade or Kenade. Uh, they're basically two master ninjas from the Iga clan, and you're going to take down Garuda and his demonic minions. There's going to be about five levels that you could play through. I believe this remake added a sixth one. I am not 100% sure of the original game if it had five or six. I believe it is was only five in the original. This one has six because they added a new one specifically for this controls. So you play against, uh, you play through the level, destroying enemies, platforming your way into the bosses, fighting the bosses, and you can earn... Uh, coins to buy things later on you find some HP recovery items and some weapons as you can see on some gameplay here uh, Once you complete the level and uh, the game entirely you'll get an item shop that you can use your coins to Purchase some items purchase some weapons and then use that for another playthrough uh, You have a heart attack or um, a hard mode um, as well as the normal difficulty, uh, normal difficulty is difficulty is kind of difficult. Um, very reminiscent of the original NES games and a lot of similar uh, hard platformer games. Uh, a time attack mode, and also an online rankings. Uh, as you can see here, the art style is of a new updated pixel graphics. It's completely overhauled from the original NES. I believe the NES one was more darker and grittier. Uh, this one is very reminiscent of um, Hockey and Rocky uh, Reshrined. I think that was another uh, remake, remaster that uh, Nasume did for the original games. And it's kind of like that chibi effect of Hayate and Kanade. Um, so as you see here, a lot of the battles is very precise. You need to be in a specific frame or have enough distance from some enemies so you could avoid their attacks while also hitting them with your attacks and um the combat is pretty difficult nothing you know obviously difficult nothing too artificially hard it's just one of those types of games that you can't just go willy-nilly and uh, uh, run around and evade things too much you do have a dash so you could dash through some attacks but it's one of those games um, similar to the old ones that you have to make sure you're standing in the right frames or in the right section so you could avoid taking damage. There's a lot of punishment in this game, so be wary of that. Um, I haven't tested out the co-op feature because I'm usually a solo gamer, but there is uh, couch co-op. You can have um, two players playing, one as the male character, one as the female character, and you'll be playing on the same exact screen. Um... So that's also good for players who are a, a big fan of co-op games and like to play uh, games with their friends. Um, overall, I'll definitely give this recommendation for anybody who loves the old action-y, um, action platformer, beat-em-up type games. Uh, this is very fun, very difficult, but um, very rewarding once you get the, the slight difficulty curve mastered down. Um, I'll give it a, still a solid recommendation, even if you're not a, a hardcore fan of difficult games or this type of genre. It is fun game, and the music I am very much uh, a big fan of. It definitely has the same feel and um, spirit of the old NES-style gritty tunes there. Um, overall, I players who will enjoy the more difficult games will enjoy this as well as uh, players who are a little bit older and remember playing these older games as a kid and want to play them again as they're in their adult stages um overall i believe um a shadow of the ninja reborn which is the remake uh remaster of the original 
Shadow of the Ninja is a great uh, buy for most players out there. Um, the only difficulty or drawback or con that um, most players might bring up is that it's only six stages long, it's, it's kind of short, but however you gotta keep in mind the price point at $20, I believe it's still justifiable for this game being as short as it is. There is a lot of replayability since you could do normal mode, hard mode, you have two different characters, you have time attack, and you have the onboard lead, uh, leaderboards. So there's a lot of things that you could do. You could play a lot of different weapons, from clubs to swords to with little um, the sword doing the air dash. And there, there's a lot of things that you could do with this game. So I recommend anybody just be just be ready to die a lot. <laughs> Alrighty, this has been Primera. I'll let you uh, keep watching some of the gameplay footage of me, and I'll see you in the next review. Everyone have a great day.